Hey everybody, how are you doing today? We're going to be looking at MX19.4 Petito Feo today. It's running, I believe, on XFCE. Uh, let's see, let's open up about. Uh, that's just the welcome screen for XFCE. But at the present, this is number one on DistroWatch, so I wanted to see what the number one Linux OS looks like. Um, I'm going to try to make my panel a little bigger here. There we go. This is what you see when you boot up. Let's see. Let's right click. If you right click in the middle of the screen, it gives you create launcher, UL, create folder. So just basic information. And you can access your applications right from a right click on the home screen. Let's see what we got over here. MX run program. Let's go to settings. Okay, you got about me. Let's. Okay, that's where you put in your information. Appearance, brightness. Let's look at appearance. So pretty much you're locked into what you have. So it is XFCE. Let's see some of the programs you have out of the box applications accessories it's kind of laggy so application finder archive manager bulk rename catfish file clip it conky yeah that's what's up here you got conky installed uh, feather pad calculator gtk hash device mounter Light DM GTK, Midnight Commander, MX Updater, Orange Global Teen, Task Manager. Let's see what we got on Task Manager. Processes, Memory. So I've given this, I've assigned it three CPUs and I've assigned it three gigs of memory. So it's running low. It's only using at idle, you know, anywhere from 1% to 5% of your CPU and then 17% of your memory. Let's close out of that. What is that? That's your logout button. Okay, let's look under files. I believe it has Thunar file manager, but we will double check. I want to make sure I'm not lying to you. Thunar's, yep. 1.8.14 Thunar file manager. But like I said, at present, this is the number one distro on DistroWatch. And let's see. So you adjust it from there. But my hard. My buttons on my system do not operate it. I don't know why. What is this? And I'm going to open up package, the package manager here on MX Linux and most distributions. If you're in live mode or you're running in VirtualBox and it asks for a password, it's just root. R O O T, lowercase. And it does have Synaptic. It ships with Synaptic package manager. So that's awesome. I really like Synaptic. Uh, I'm using mainly Arch distros nowadays, but uh, Synaptic is really good for Debian and Ubuntu based systems. And let's go back over here. Let's see what we get. Office. Office. It comes with Office installed. You got Orange Global Team, which is basically shows clocks from different countries. You've got the Orange Calendar. Let's MX tools, brightness, system tray, format USB, I device manager, live USB, MX cleanup, NX codex, multimedia. You get Alsa mixer, Asunder CD ripper, Clementine, GM temp, GUVC view, pulse audio volume control, VLC, Xburn internet, Firefox, GNOME dial up app. Thunderbird transmission for your torrents, hex chat, graphics. Okay, it comes pre-installed with GIMP, G-Scan. It's got LibreOffice Draw, of course. No Max, Simple Scan, Games, L Breakout, Mahjong, Peggy, Swell Foop, Development. It's got Genie, Icon Browser, Accessories, Catfish File Search, Honky. So does that mean I can just? No, it doesn't just start going. So let's open up Firefox here. And we're on their homepage, mxlinux.org. Uh, MX Linux is a cooperative venture between anti-X and MX Linux communities. Family of operating systems. 
Uh, graphical tools provide an easy way to do a variety of tasks. While live USB and snapshot tools inherited from Anti-X add impressive portability. I believe you can get... It comes in XFCE, KDE, Fluxbox. So you've got a couple different options there. It's very lightweight, it seems to be. Uh, let's go ahead and close those tabs. I'm just looking to see if you can... Desktop settings. Oh, there's a background. So you can change wallpapers. Let's just pick a different wallpaper. Let's pick that and at random. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's go back over here. Let's see what version of LibreOffice ships with it. Let's go writer. Let's go to help about. So it ships with a very old version of LibreOffice, 6.1.5.2. Which makes sense because it's based on Debian Stable. And those of you know that Debian Stable is generally, uh, it doesn't have the most re recent up-to-date apps, software, or programs. Uh, it uses things that are pretty much a generation back, if not further. Uh, that's just what Debian does, and that's why it's Debian Stable, and that's why it's as popular as it is. Um, me, I do like the bleeding edge stuff. That's why I'm an Arch user. But, you know, if you're just getting into Linux and you want to give uh, an operating system a try and you want to make sure it's completely and utterly stable and you don't have to work or worry about anything uh, breaking on you, this would probably be a, a distribution to look at. What is the MX package installer? Let's see if that's different than Synaptic. Okay, so this is your MX, MX package installer. Okay, so you can come over here, and if you wanted to get aud audacious, you could. Audacity. I guess you just check them and just go down this whole line of things. If you wanted Chromium or Opera or Google Chrome, check. go through this, check everything that you want, and then just click on install, and it would install it all at once. Definitely an easy way to get your free and open source software there. Let's close out of that. Let's go back over here. Recently used task manager. Power management. Okay, so that's just your your base settings power management. XFCE in MX Linux has the panel on the left, which I do believe is is an advantage, especially with nowadays when you look at most monitors, there's more width than there is height, so it makes more sense to have it on the left. I'm just setting my ways and like my bar at the bottom. But if you want an operating system that is going to be almost impossible to break and is extremely stable, MX Linux is definitely something to take a look at. You know, nowadays a lot of people like the flashy things, but uh, I'm, I like it. You know, it's not as flashy as a KDE or it's not as flashy as a Manjaro, but gets the job done. It's got all the tools you need. Uh, it's in a great format. You can access everything you need really basically from a right click anywhere. Uh, you got the terminal. Let's look up and see if it comes with HTOP. It does come with HTOP, HTOP out of the box. So you don't have to go in, install that, but and close window. And you've got your manual, you got your frequently asked questions, and you got your installer here. All in all, layout of it is definitely nice. Um, it is definitely lightweight. Um, like I said, if you're looking to try a Linux distribution that is very light and is very stable, MX Linux may be something you definitely want to take a look at. It's the XFCE desktop, and it is presently number one on DistroWatch. So remember to like and subscribe so that way you can be entered for the ZenBook 14 giveaway on August 31st, 2021. I appreciate y'all watching the video today, and I will see you in the next video.